Hello Capricorn, this is your June 2018 reading. I'm sorry I'm late, I was kind of ill, but I'm here now and I'm going to read them. General reading for Capricorn, June 2018. Capricorn, June 2018 reading. Capricorn, June 2018 reading. Remember this may not resonate with all Capricorns. It is not a personal reading. It is an overall general energy reading. A hermit card in reverse. Someone's coming out of being a hermit. They're no longer keeping to themselves, contemplating on what to do. Let's find out more. Princess of Disc. It could be your energy. What's crossing it is uh, the magician. And that could be uh, not knowing what to do with the tools you have, the abilities you have, and maybe not having them all uh, to help you out. It also could be that someone is manipulating the prince, uh, the princess of disc, which I said could be your 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 energy. Now to I'll clarify all these. I just want to get them out there and get this out to you. Like I said, I'm sorry that. It is so late. We do get a happy, uh, happily ever after situation, but we got to find out with clarifying cards. You know, I clarify. Well, the princess of this, princess of this, like I said, could be your energy. It is an Earth type energy. That's Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. And like I said, the magician is crossing it. And like I said, it could be manipulation, and that's why the princess of this is in reverse. Could be a lover situation. So it could be manipulative behavior or someone just doesn't know how to work the situation out. They don't have the tools and the abilities to, to, to work things out. Now as a goal, you got the fool card. The fool card is in reverse. So someone is not starting a new beginning as a goal. Or you may be trying to turn it around, the fool card. Let's find out. The fool card, why are you in reverse for Capricorn, June 2018? I do shuffle these prior. Yeah, there's not, I don't see you jumping into a new beginning just yet. You do get a, a, some type of victory, but it's like um, you're not going to just jump into it this time. You're, you're going to probably think about it. And it may, um, you may not want to go out and celebrate or mingle just yet. Maybe you're just going to um, try to figure things out where you're at right now and I'm not sure let me find out um, got the foundation let's go to the foundation got the six of uh, uh, wands it's a victory card why is the uh, victory card the foundation not that there's anything wrong with it but got a victory you gained a victory somehow even though you're cross the collaboration that went wrong the three of pentacles when you got the three of pentacles it's in reverse when it is it's like something didn't pan out didn't work out but with uh more than two people it's usually three or more or more people and they were trying to work out something it could be something to do with employment something to do with family friends but even though something didn't work you're gaining a victory you you, you Gained a victory somehow. You can leave it in the comments because I don't exactly know what it is. Let me get one more card for the victory card and the three of uh, pentacles. Why is it there? Page of pentacles. Yeah, you, there was a message that came across <clears throat> that may very well have to do with work also. you got a lover situation, but that could be more than just you know a couple. It can be someone you're working with, something you love doing. And the, something got you turned around, though. In the past, you got the Seven of Cups. It's in reverse. Seven of Cups, why are you in reverse for Capricorn, June 2018? Why are you in reverse, reverse for Capricorn? Messages. Now, with the Seven of Cups in reverse, that's someone who's no longer looking for options, uh, if they if they did have them, they may turn them down. 
And it could be uh, someone came in with a communication offering you it, offering you something, but you might have turned it down. Or you may not have thought it was a good prospect. That could be why you didn't jump in. Well, that could be why the full card is in reverse. You just didn't jump into something. And you gained a victory through that somehow. The Empress is in the near future. She is in reverse. Now, that's about fruition, growth, blessings. Is in reverse. Something's not really growing and moving forward in the next few days or a couple weeks. Um, it's usually in the near begin in near future. It could be also for some of you, not all of you, that there is an unwanted pregnancy, or you're wanting it and someone else is not wanting it. That's just for a few of you, not all of you. The Empress, why are you in reverse? Why are you in reverse? Queen of Pentacles, it could be the Queen of Pentacles. That could be your energy also, because it is an earth element. They're stable, they're sound. So they're 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 in They're, 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 they're in the upright. They're very, they know what they're, what they're doing. Everybody, they're financially stable usually. I mean, I'm not saying millionaire type situation, but they have the know-how to run a household, a business, a family situation. But for some reason, there's no growth with this Queen of Pentacles, even though she's in the upright. What's going on? Let me give me one more card for this. Queen of Pentacles. Why are you there? Clarifying the Empress in reverse. You're coming out of your head. You're not. You're not all upset. You're not. You're not going to uh, think about this at night. That's for sure. It could be that you're just not wanting a new beginning, or someone else is not wanting it with you, or you got it on halt. Now, you got some good cards here too. I'm getting to them, but first we got to go to this card, which is the Death card. And that's a possible future outcome. I'm not saying you're dying. I'm saying something might end. But I don't think you think it's a bad thing. Maybe it's an ending of arguments. Maybe it's an ending of um, feeling bad. It could be an ending of many things. But let's find out with the death card. I need more information on the death card. Why is the death card there? Capricorn. The King of Swords. Yeah, be careful, because it could be a possible future outcome, is that if you get turned around too much, or somebody else around you gets too, turned around too much, they may suddenly end something abruptly without thinking. So the vices think before you end something. I'm not saying you shouldn't. I'm not saying you should. I'm just saying the King of Swords is in reverse and doesn't think clearly when he's in reverse. So turn that king right side up. Or whoever else is watching this may want to turn it right side up if you will, if you want. But what's coming towards Capricorn is good fortune. It's what people are also thinking, outside people, that you're very fortunate. Or it could be that someone's offering you something. So what is the good fortune? What is the fortune coming towards Capricorn? Hmm. Three of Swords. Why is that good fortune? Maybe someone thinks it's a positive situation that something else ended for you and more positive things are coming towards you because something ended? That you you're no longer in a nightmarish type situation. You're no you're not doing like jumping into anything. Your goal is not just to jump into anything with just anybody. One more card for the uh Wheel of Fortune. I'm gonna live dangerously here. Why are you there coming towards Capricorn? And I don't think you're waiting for this Three of Swords energy. Usually when the Four of Swords is in the upright, is someone taking a break, but it's in reverse. In other words, someone's no longer waiting around, laying around. Maybe you're looking to see that you have positives in your life instead of all the negatives. Your things are looking up maybe for you. Prince of Sword, I mean, the Prince of Cups is in reverse. It's in your hopes and fears. Maybe you fear the Prince of Cups. This could be a water energy or someone taking on that energy. 
that could uh, be Cancer, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. Ah, one more, one more for Prince of Cups. Like I say, they just—it doesn't have to be this. It just could be their energy. And the Sun card is in reverse, so you may fear this Prince of Cups that is not happy right now, or not getting exactly 100% what they want from you, or maybe you're not getting 100% what you want from them. Now the outcome, you got the Ten of Cups. is an excellent card. So the Ten of Cups, why are you there? Why are you the outcome for uh, Capricorn? Not that you're fighting that. It's a happily ever after card. It's being satisfied for what th how things are. Ten of Cups, why are you there? Ten of Cups, why are you there for Capricorn is the outcome. Queen of Cups. I want one more. That could be also the water element, or another one. Could be another uh, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Maybe you're having a happily ever after situation with the Queen of Cups, or maybe you yourself are taking on this energy and becoming more emotionally, uh, how can I say it, content. One more card for the Ten of Cups. Got the King of Cups attached to that. I want one more. One more. That kind of fell out funny. And that's also, like I said, a water element. So you could have actually two different water elements here or someone, two different people taking on that energy. One is emotionally content and the other one isn't. But you've got a happily ever after situation coming. Maybe not everybody's happy for you, but apparently someone is. Someone's going to be happy. One more, Ten of Cups. Ah, don't fall, don't fall. Let's see what days are. And the hermit card in reverse, no longer no longer being the hermit, ships coming in, no longer accepting bad language or short tempers. This was turned around. So some, you, I think you're going to get some static from a few people, but no one's going to rain on your sunshine, that's for sure. You may get a little defensive if they do, but you got the uh, happiness or happily ever after card, and that's a good card. I'm going to leave it at that, and, and glad that... Uh, you're having a good outcome. So I'll talk to you later, Capricorn. I'll upload this as soon as I can. Bye.